guys? Welcome back to MPD. Ooh, wow. Welcome back to MTV Cribs. Don't, don't, don't edit that. That was great. That was a good moment. <laughs> we are about to show you Little Mister's 99.99% complete nursery. The only thing left is we took down two His things. Name. I believe I am probably going to be in the background, and mm -hmm. my lovely wife is going to do the thing. So, without further ado, here is Baby Eyes Nursery. First things first. You can give them, is there a smudge? There's a smudge, hold on. Okay, so you can give them a little bit of an overview. But basically, I just kind of wanted to go over like all of everything. Because we did a lot of thrifting, a lot of Facebook market shopping to make this nursery on a budget because babies are really expensive. I wanted to show you guys first this wall right here. We made our little own makeshift bookshelves. And so we bought these spice racks from Ikea. So you can order these and they're literally, I think like $5 each. And I just bought four of them. I'm gonna put all of his sweet little books in here. Here is his closet. We ended up taking out the doors because it took up too much space even with the doors opened. And I don't know why I'm a weirdo. Every single house that I move into, besides our master, since we have a walk-in closet, I take off the doors to my closet because I like to have it open. So that's what we did here. And we bought this from Amazon, but they also have it on Wayfair. And I believe it was like 180 bucks or so to make up his closet. So this is his closet organizer. We have our diver stockpile up there just close and then we've got some stuff in here and it's just going to be great for storage. So I got this cute little basket from Hobby Lobby and I just stuck all of his swaddles in there and I also bought this little guy right here from Hobby Lobby as well and we painted it white to match all of his white stuff over here. So like I said before we did a lot of Facebook market shopping so we bought this and this separately and we ended up painting them and buying new hardware and fixing a couple of the drawers because they were a little bit loose and we got it for a really good price and i think it turned out super cute it used to be this like weird ugly yellow cream color and then we just painted it and then we got these super cute shelves so i was looking everywhere to find shelves like these and they were super expensive. It was gonna be like a hundred bucks just to have two shelves. And I ended up going to Hobby Lobby and in their wood section, they had these for like 10 bucks each and all we did was just painted the top white and then hung them and they looked just like the ones that I wanted to buy for a hundred bucks basically. And then we decorated it. I made that little ABC chart for him and we just have a bunch of cute little knickknacks and stuff up there <laughs> and then this mirror was a steal because this is another one that was going to be like 70 to 100 bucks and i was like oh my gosh everything is so expensive got this for 30 bucks at walmart next we have this beautiful blanket ladder that me and aiden made even made it. It was my idea. <laughs> okay, it was my idea. He executed it. <laughs> Stop. He executed it. It was my idea. Okay. Out of copper rods that we bought at Home Depot or something, and we never used it. It was just sitting in our room. So we decided to put it in baby's room. And now we're utilizing it for his blankets and swaddles because he has more blankets and swaddles than he needs. <laughs> and then. This wall is very incomplete. His name, his cutout name sign goes right here, but of course we had to take it off for this video because he's still in here. He's not born yet. So that means we're not sharing his name yet. For this room, this room is not necessarily meant to be a bedroom. It's actually an office because if you want to show them up there, it's an open room. It's literally open like to the living room over there. So we have a lot of light coming in. So I needed to get some extra super dark curtains. So these are blackout curtains from Target. 
Unfortunately, we're not gonna be able to make this room like super, super dark, but we're gonna do the best that we can. We got this cute little thing right here. If you guys watch our channel, you would know that we did a baby boy haul with small Etsy shops and the Etsy shop, Kella and Ivy, she made this for baby eye and it will be up on her shop to purchase once baby is here. I got this on sale at Hobby Lobby for 10 bucks and I just hung a bunch of random cute little stuff on it. You can put pictures, you can do whatever you want, but I just thought it was a really cute touch to this room. Okay, now the crib. So this crib you can buy brand new for like 80 bucks on Ikea, but we ended up buying this one for 40 off of Facebook market. So we got it for half off and it's literally brand new. Just wiped it down, made sure it was all clean and everything. And it was good to go. And we just have his snuggle me in here with his sweet little handmade rabbit from Slovenia. This was another one of those Etsy shops who sent us this for our little boy. It's so cute. Oh, yes. This. These cute little canvases. So if you are a regular watcher from our vlogs, you would know that I talked about doing a little project and making watercolor pieces for his room. And I was going to buy them, but I was like, you know what? It'd be a lot more special if I made them. So we went to Walmart. We got a bunch of supplies for super cheap, like 20, 25 bucks. And I spent like a week making these two cute little canvases. And I think they turned out really cute. I bought this little mug accordion thing off of Amazon for 10 bucks. All of his wraps are on here. So we have a Moby wrap, we have a tuck and bundle wrap, and then a Hope and Plum wrap. So all of his wraps are up here. And then my diaper bag, which is full and ready to go for the hospital because I am 35 weeks. So he's gonna be here within a couple of weeks, which is super exciting. The next, I love this rocking chair. So again, this is a Facebook market steal. So we found this on Facebook market, bought it for about $80 because I did not realize how expensive rocking chairs were. They were like $400 for the ones that I was looking at. So we found this beautiful piece, antique, love it, for 80 bucks on Facebook market. And all we did was just put a nice pillow on there and it will be super nice and comfy. And then next we have our little, well this is like my pumping station. So I have my pump down there and all my pump supplies. That is that. I think that's it. Oh, we need to talk about the rug too. So this rug I got off of Wayfair for like 200 bucks, I think. And it has given us H-E double hockey sticks. It's been horrible. We literally today just drilled it into the ground because it was awful. It was moving constantly. We tried to Velcro it to the floor. We did everything we could to try to make it stay and it wouldn't work. So we literally had to screw it into the ground. Also, I wanted to mention, this is the best diaper pail ever. The Ubi, 10 times better than the other one. This one's amazing. So that's the diaper pail we're gonna be using. I think that's literally it. Yeah, this is our, our nursery. And that's the poor tail. She is not included. <laughs> it took us a good amount of months to get this done. And I'm super excited that it's literally done. Like, there's really nothing else that we need to do. Everything's organized, put away, and ready for baby to come. So, I hope that you guys enjoyed our little nursery tour it's long awaited all right guys so that is it for our nursery tour i hope that you guys enjoyed i will try to link as many items as i can below but like i said a lot of them are like thrifted and facebook market finds and i can't really link those down below unfortunately but yeah if you're new to this channel make sure that you guys subscribe we're getting ready to have this little baby boy in the next couple of weeks, I'm 35 weeks and two days 
as I'm filming this. We're getting there. And yes, we will be filming the birth and bringing him home, him meeting the dogs, all of that. So if you're interested in family channels, definitely make sure to subscribe and join our family. We would love to have you. And I think that's it. So I will see you guys in the next one. Bye guys.